So we had a question from our good friend at Needles McKee, who would like to know, when using team names, is there a function that allows multiple lines, for example, John Doe, department head, and XYZ corporations each on a separate line? Well, there is using a feature called the team name template designs, and this is how you set one up. Your first step is to set up the layout you want for that team name template. And the way you do that is you add a unique single word text object for every team name placement. So in this case, where we want three rows of text, a name, a department, and a company name, we create three lines of text. So we'll start off with our first line of text, and we'll call that the name. Then we'll duplicate that, and we'll create another one. And we'll change that. And we'll call this the um, title. That could be their role or whatever you want to call it as a part of your template. And then we'll duplicate that again. And we'll call that the uh, company. Now each text item has to be a single name. And because they're individual text items, you can have uh, unique fonts or unique size. It's really up to you. The last thing you need to do is really set up the layout as you want it to be. Again, each component can have a different font size or a completely separate different font. Once you're finished with that, you have to save that away as a team name template. And you do that by going up to File, Save as Team Name Template Design. It automatically takes you to your public folder where the team name template designs are stored and the custom folder where your own custom templates are stored. So we'll call this uh, three line names. It could be whatever name you'd like to give it. And press Save. And now that that's created, we'll start a brand new design. We'll open up our team names docker. And under the designs section, we can click on our custom folder. And here are the custom templates I've made, including the new three line uh, template that I just created. So we'll select that template to bring that into my design window. And I've now got a team name object. If I go across to my team name list, I've got the three individual names and I can give them any name I want. So we'll change this to John Doe and the title is department head and the company is XYZ Corporation. Once you've got your text in place, you can then import any additional logo or additional design work you want as a part of that by either digitizing the logo or design on top, or if it's an existing design, just simply go into import, browse to where their design is and select the design you want and open, and then position that where you'd like it to be in accordance to that team name design. And don't forget to select and generate that lettering for you as well. And obviously the more lines you add, the additional names it will continue to put down the list. But again, each of them with an independent row, each of them with completely independent properties, if that's what you want, font size or baseline, um, it's up to you. But as a true team name object that you can then export out to your machine uh, or print off on your production worksheet.